Hey guys and welcome back to another VFL episode. We're going to be covering five games, the five games of past weekend. And for the first game, we face the league leaders, Leon. At that point, they hadn't conceded a goal yet. They won all five of their games and we had the difficult task to play against them. Uh, you saw the lineup there, it's pretty strong. Is it strong enough to beat Leon though? That that's remains to be seen because, like I said, they were amazing these past few uh, weeks and uh, it's our job or duty to do something and get a decent result but there you can see they're passing it around we stay in formation we stay organized we do not want them to get chances we are very very um, well organized and hard work in trying to not give away too many chances in the early stages of the game we weren't necessarily attacking too much the first job of the day was to prevent us from conceding and we did that pretty well we do get a chance here it's a bit of a loose ball in the area it's right to surprise the keeper but the shot goes off target that was the first bit of danger from our side they get another chance though it's a bit of a difficult situation to judge is it a penalty or not no it ends up being a yellow card for the striker that was kind of a scary moment because you never know with FIFA what might happen if the ref blows for a foul in the box but just before the end of the first half I play a through ball nothing too dangerous it seems but then the keeper I don't know what happened there we take the lead after a howler it's just a howler this is the keeper that hadn't conceded a goal and then that happens we take the lead it was a surprise but in the end we dominated it we were very organized we didn't give away any chances at all they haven't had a shot at half time so the lead is deserved but the way we scored was maybe not the most glorious you'll ever see but the keeper on our side has to make a save finally he does well another chance he comes out he grabs it very well done by subby the keeper trying to keep that clean sheet very important we go on a counter-attack on the other end, once again a mistake at the back by Olympique Lyon. Kais goes through, Ronaldo chops inside and he puts it past the keeper making it 2-0 in the 70th minute. Fantastic, fantastic performance by the boys. Subby making another save right there, we want to keep that clean sheet. Another great save by our keeper and that so far is uh, a fantastic game. I mean, what a start to the weekend. This was Friday. Uh, this was on Friday that game and we won 2-0 against a team that was unbeaten and hadn't conceded a goal Fantastic performance. We couldn't have wished for anything better, but can we keep that up? That's always the problem you get a fantastic performance in a great result a good win and usually the game after that isn't that great But thankfully for us we face off against Marseille and Marseille at that point were bottom of the league with all due respect They're not the strongest side so we had to get the three points that is a given we have to win against bottom of the league if you win against well the league leaders but we go to fantastic start here we win a penalty Sean the guy who made his debut I think uh, is the one stepping up and scoring it yes it is Sean scoring after two minutes or four minutes in his debut fantastic start to the game but they get a chance though so we weren't doing that great I mean we're already in the 35th minute apart from the penalty we haven't done anything too amazing I mean it's, it was quite even at half time we were slightly more dominant we do get another chance here though with Kai's he blasts that top corner I mean when you do the sliding animation to shoot at goal it's nearly unsavable and in deep in extra time myself I also go through on goal just no chance for the keeper to stop it even Kai's was there second post I could have passed it I just went for my own luck and I managed to make it 3-0 and that's how the game ended so two wins out of two games it's going good at that point it wasn't amazing against Marseille and that might have been um, kind of a signal towards the end of uh, the weekend because you know you can't just keep winning but that's what we were trying to do especially after those solid wins that the next team we are going to face is Montpellier there you saw the lineup once again not too many changes we keep faith in the same players we play at home against Montpellier who were pretty decent you know um, in the friendlies we always beat them but they're very dangerous from crosses and they take the lead after 15 minutes we did not really expect that and here they get another chance I kind of deflect it off my shoulder into uh, the corner but um, unfortunately for me the save did not really matter because from the following corner they managed to head it in off the bar there is uh, no one saving that when it hits in off the bar or post but look at this though what a goal 
by Connor Hobbs or Akbom or whatever you want to call him. Hobnob126, fantastic strike. I mean, we hadn't had anything in that game so far, but that is one moment of pure class. Brilliant goal. That was our only shot of the half as well, so you know we're not doing too great and you know we're struggling a bit. But that goal, once again, could be a contender for team uh, for goal of the week. Sorry, I had my goal submitted for goal of the week last week and it came third. Um, in the entire VFL so I was quite proud of that but that goal might as well challenge for the number one spot because that was great but I'm not talking about the match anymore because we lost uh, even with that fantastic goal we lost 2-1 first defeat of the season at that point that was very very disappointed and we needed to step it up we were kind of in a downward spiral from that moment on we play against PSG very solid side as well we're playing against the better teams of the league at this point and it's very difficult to get a good result but here I play it off you think it's an easy finish but somehow the keeper saves it it wasn't the best shot it, it went straight at him if you place that bottom corner we're taking the lead in the first half and it's a completely different game it didn't happen second half I get a chance put it past the keeper and we do take the lead at that point I'd say it's deserved so we're in the lead everything's going well uh, Subby there making another great save but our problem is when we take the lead and it's only like a one goal lead we struggle a lot to keep that lead we always seem to concede at well a bad timing 86th minute long throw they head it and I don't really know how he managed to head that in that was very frustrating we get another chance deep in extra time Highs, but the keeper makes a save and it ends 1-1 so not the result we were looking for and at that point some of us were getting a bit frustrated it wasn't like last week against Toulouse no we were constructive with our criticism we were not shouting we were talking about things how we needed to improve and uh, this was the last game of this week and again it's the return against PSG the tails or the rosters just switch and um, I don't know how that wasn't a goal the luck wasn't on our side either in that game but thankfully for us they make a vital mistake in the box they give away the penalty and I think it was an AI player as well that made it the only AI player in the team the left back made that penalty foul and it was Sean again who won it so he gets to take it and he puts us in the lead 1-0 again taking the lead at half time deserved or shot accuracy isn't too best but we have the possession and the shots they get a chance Subby makes another save he's always there to make some crucial saves but once again the long throw uh, they head it down Nobody got to that and it's 1-1 in the 73rd minute. Devastating, absolutely devastating. We cannot hold on to a lead to save our lives, I've said it before. They get another chance, 90th minute, 2-1 down. And at that point, that was demoralizing to say the least. That was a point where you thought, well, we, we can't do this anymore. This is not good enough. And um, Well, straight from kickoff actually, we go through again. We get the ball. And that happens. I was silent for a moment because I wanted to see how bad of a foul that actually was because I couldn't really remember, but that was a stonewall penalty. There is no arguing about that. So in the 95th minute, we get a penalty. Jay, Surreal Killer, who won it, gets to take it. He wasn't on mic. Apparently, he wanted me to take that penalty. And that cost us a point because if he switched it to me, I'm not saying I would have scored, but he didn't. The keeper saved. And if he was on mic at that point and uh, he gave it to me, the game might have ended differently, we, we will never know, but we end up losing that game. Second loss of the weekend and we're not doing too great. The league tables are going to flash up in a second. We dropped quite deep to fifth position, but only three points away from first and only three points away from sixth or seventh. So everything is still possible. There are many title contenders in the league this season. We're still one of them. If we can have a good weekend, we can end up on top, but changes will have to be made and you will see what happens next weekend. So hopefully you're still there to watch. If you did enjoy them, please leave a like. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed. I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you all later.